Go to sleep. Okay. Three, two, one. Hey everyone. Me Rick here today. We'll be going to this again. One, two, three. Three, two. Three, two, one. Hello everyone. It's Mirak here. Let's start with part four of the card review of Rise of Shadows. Today we'll be starting out with let's see here Shimmerfly. One mana one one beast. For hunter, also rare. Death Rattle add a random hunter spell to your hand. Now since Firefly and other premium one drops are rotating, I believe Shimmerfly will be a good replacement for those cards, especially for a hunter and basically the death rattle is draw a card from your deck. But it's a random hunter spell, if you think about it that way. Adding anything to your hand is quote unquote drawing cards. So I believe this will be a top tier card for sure. And yeah, moving under here we have the Boom Reaver for 10 mana. 7 attack and 9 health. That 9 health is pretty strong. The 10 drops are not usually that good. But this one, Boom Reaver. Battle Cry. Summon a copy of a minion in your deck. Give it Rush. Well, some way there's a poisonous minion on the opponent's side or. A really strong minion. You pull out a copy. Well, your deck would need to. So that would not work with with a Mechathun. Unless Mechathun is the exact last card, but it's still summoning a copy. So if you get a Mechathun. You try and kill it, you still have something in your deck and potentially something in your hand. So that idea is scrapped. What else would Boom Reaver be good for? Not sure, really. I mean, would you really want to fit your whole deck with a 10 cost minion? That is very fringe. I don't think so, but. If you get this from the hero power of the, um, Death Knight, basically, um, it'll be a good option to get Boom Reaver, but same time it is expensive. I like it. If you discover it. You're just throwing it. In your deck, you need to have high value minions, and that is very doubtful if basically Boom Reaver has your win condition. I don't think so, but as I said, I would really like to discover Boom Reaver. So, moving on here. I have another 10 mana card for this time. A spell. Dimensional Ripper, also rare. Summon two copies of a mini in your deck. Same idea, I mean. Why? Would you want to fit your whole deck with Diamond, uh, Dimensional Ripper and the other 10 cost minion? I don't think so. I honestly don't think so. This is just a bad card. Archivist Elysiana. 
8 mana 7 7. Battle cry, discover 5 cards. Replace your deck with 2 copies of each. Also a neutral minion. We can fit this in any class. I mean, if you're some sort of fatigue kind of deck, where your deck is empty, you play this, you get 10 more cards in your deck. I mean, you replace your deck. Alright, for instance, well, you put 10 cards into your deck. So you don't want to discover things that draw. You want high value cards, especially battle crime minions, would be great. Is that ever good? Only a fatigue deck. Your deck is completely empty. You play her. That's it. That's the end of story, really. I mean, she is completely valuable. Well, hmm. I like it at uh, the same time, it only fits in the fatigue archetype, if you even call it an archetype, I'm not sure, I don't know, I don't know if it's good, I mean if your deck is completely empty, she's great. And you don't play Megathoon with your empty deck. Elysiana is good. So now we have Barista Lynchin. Five mana four five. Those are great stats for a five. Awesome minion, but uh Battle Cry add a copy of each other of your other battle cry minions to your hand. I guess you can think of her like a Zola, but not really. Since you need to play that minion, then you play Barista, then you add the copy of those minions to your hand. Say you have a board, at least two minions, and battle cry in your and your hand can deal with those copies of other of those other minions then first is a great card if your hand if your um, battlefield is empty you don't want to play barista you have minions on board that don't have battle cry you don't want to play barista Things like Shadow Walk, maybe, as a copy. So, yeah, you play Shadow Walk, you play this, you get another Shadow Walk in your hand. That's like the only point it will work for the Shadow Walk deck. But any other thing? I mean, it's a big if. if I think it's more of a situational card. I mean, sure, it can be good. As I was saying, you need to have other battle card minions in your battlefield. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, so, now we have. Hinge Clan Hag, 4 mana 3-3, three, three. not great stack wise, but summon 2 one, one Amalgams with all minion types. You can think of the Amalgams, yeah they have every minion, so you're basically summoning a 4 mana 5-5, five, five. that's good stats, but... How are you improving those amalgams? I mean, they're more like they're beasts, they're mechs, they're everything. Even Pyrus Elementals are 
demon, things like that. Even the dragons. I don't know. I don't know how you can improve those amalgams. These, I think, it's a good card for Arena. Because if your opponent doesn't deal with those amalgams, you can buff them with Dragon Card. Or a lot card, whatever. Whatever kind of buffing mechanism you have. So, this is just a good card. So, now we have Exotic Mount Seller. 7 mana, 5. Attack eight health. So that's a lot of health. So turn seven you play this. Whenever you cast a spell, summon a random three cost beast. Um It's decent I guess. But you can have your King Mooklaws without the battle card going off. Okay. Oh the King Mukla. Play with it on turn 7. Since it does have high health, it will survive since there's no meteors or things like that. Even Flame Strike will not kill this. So, turn 8, you play 2 or 3 spells. You did a good job. You only cast it once. On turn 8, I mean. Mount Seller's not good value, if you do that. The highest value per turn is at least summoning three beasts. There goes that. That's the only way it will be good. Which most likely, since this is neutral, is going to be seen in a decent amount of decks. Maybe even a hunter. Maybe. Hmm, I like her. As a minion. It's really good value. And it does have high health. If it had anything less than 5 or 4 health, then it's not going to be good, but. Since this is 8 health, it's going to survive. Most likely if your minion doesn't have... Well, what would they have since... Naturalize is out. Meteor is out. Flame Shrike doesn't kill this. What else would kill this? Uh, Shadow or Death? Um... What else? Not really sure, but it's a good card. Yeah, it's a good card. So, Conjurer's Calling. I believe this is the last card I'm going to be talking about, and the next few cards from the rest of the expansion cards will be revealed today in the massive dump that they do. So, look forward to that. Conjurer's Calling, 3 mana rare, Twin Spell, Destroy a Minion, uh -huh. you can destroy the uh, Mount Seller with this, really Blizzard, you just, you're just gonna do that, wait a minute, summon 2 minions of the same cost to replace it, For three mana. This is ridiculous. Actually. We're getting rid of things like Mount Cellar or what else? Hmm. Your Deathwing. Oh. What else would be high cost? That 10 mana 
warrior card. For having this be three mana, this is ridiculous. It's also a twin spell. Then you destroy another minion for another three mana. Wow. Just wow. He's summoning two minions on your side. I would really hope so. So I like this card a lot. It's ridiculous. So on that note, I just want to tell you thanks for watching. Don't forget, don't forget click that like button as well as clicking the subscribe button. All right, see you next time. Bye now. Wake up. Press Alt 